Sylvia Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Yeah, Rick, I uh, guess you've been wondering, but you are go for the deorbit burn. We are going to continue to assess uh, the, which runway end we prefer, but for now we are happy with the weather at KSC. You are go for the burn. Okay, we copied go for the burn. Right now we're leaving uh, KSC 33 and, uh, until we hear otherwise. And uh, that would be our preference with a headwind, but I know you guys have to look at the energy as well. And Rick, we uh, appreciate your assessment, and uh, that's one thing we were hoping for. Uh, there are other issues, and uh, we'll give you the best option we can. We copy, and we appreciate it. Also, we'll plan on uh, PLT flying prior to the hack if everything stays the same uh, as we were read up earlier. We copy, Rick. Capcom astronaut Charlie Hoboff passing along a go to Commander Rick Husband of Columbia and his crew of seven to come home this morning to the Kennedy Space Center at the first opportunity to fire Columbia's engines in under six minutes from now, about uh, five and a half minutes to begin its descent from orbit and an approach to the Kennedy Space Center that would have it touch down at the shuttle runway at 8.16 a.m. Central Time. Flight controllers continue to evaluate which end of the runway Columbia will approach based on uh, weather conditions. Uh, runway 15 or runway 33 as the ends are labeled. Both ends are acceptable at this point. It's just a matter of which one is the very best. Again, this engine firing will be a two minute, 38 second long firing of Columbia's twin orbital maneuvering system engines to begin its descent. We're ready for single APU t start, attempt two. That uh, call from Columbia indicating that they're starting one of the three auxiliary power units on board the shuttle. Those are generators that supply power for the shuttle's hydraulic systems, which in turn are used to operate the elevons and rudder and speed brake, the aero surfaces of the shuttle. One of the three generators is started prior to this engine firing. The other two will be started after the engine firing is completed and uh, while Columbia is on its descent toward the atmosphere. Houston, we're about 30 seconds to a teeter's handover. We may have some ready com on the next satellite. Okay, Houston, we copy. About two and a half minutes away from an engine firing to begin Columbia's journey home to Florida this morning. Columbia moving into its final orbital sunset. It'll move into sunrise again as it descends through the atmosphere en route to Florida above the southwestern United States.
Columbia is 176 miles above the Indian Ocean to the west of Australia, about 30 seconds away from the start of an engine firing to begin its descent toward Florida, completing 16 days of scientific work in orbit. This will be a two minute, 38 second long firing of both orbital moving system engines for the shuttle, putting it on a course toward a touchdown at the Kennedy Space Center's shuttle runway at 8.16 a.m. Thanks. Watching over the operation of the orbital maneuvering system engines is uh, propulsion officer Dean Lenort reporting both firing now and uh, looking good. Two minutes and 38 seconds that both will fire to drop Columbia out of orbit put it on a course toward its first encounters with the atmosphere at an altitude of about 75 miles above the Pacific Ocean to the north of the Hawaiian Islands. Columbia's altitude at present 175 statute miles. A little over one and a half minutes left to go in the deorbit engine firing for Columbia, putting Columbia on course toward a touchdown in Florida at 8.16 a.m. Central Time today. About 20 seconds left in a deorbit engine firing for Columbia, beginning its descent to Earth. Columbia, Houston, good burn, no trim required. We copy and concur, Houston, thanks. And we'll meet you in post burn. The guidance officer confirming that uh, Columbia is right on track uh, toward a landing at the Kennedy Space Center at 8.16 a.m. Central. Its first encounter with the atmosphere will come in about uh, 25 minutes as it uh, descends to an altitude of about 75 statute miles above the Pacific Ocean, north of the Hawaiian Islands. Its altitude at present, 176 statute miles. <laughs> 